If you've been subscribed to our channel long enough, then you've seen how much money Fortnite accounts with tons of rare skins can sell for. It starts to get expensive faster than you can say Fred on a snowboard. Wait, wait, what? I can't even kick. I have a pinata. Oh, oh, really? Oh, sorry, Fred. I, I didn't mean to put you on a snowboard. We're, we're just gonna, let's just pretend like this scene didn't happen, all right? Anyway, whether they deserved it or not, we welcome you back to Top 5 Gaming, where today we will be breaking down the top five expensive Fortnite accounts that got banned. Yes, heart rip to shreds all those rare skins down the drain and you don't have to try and snake them out of the drain because we, we said you can't do that it's not allowed all right Sometimes when people get banned from an online game, it's almost impossible to find out why. All you know is you can't access your account. You've either got some weird error on login issue message popping up, or a straight up you've been banned in capitals staring you in the face. Maybe it's all just a misunderstanding, perhaps the universe just wasn't on your side today, but like Big Fultz here, it isn't always the cheapest screw up. So just before November, Doom Big Fultz had been collecting up skins on his account like all good Fortnite content creators do. He's got some of the pricier ones you could find in the item shop, like the the legendary Royale Dragon and Laser Chomp Gliders. Big Fultz also has the Black Knight and Omega skins that are unique to past seasons and unlockable after the season has ended. To top it all off, he also has the rare Galaxy skin. It's a beauty. And then BAM! Big Fultz is logging on at the beginning of November and he's hit with the ban hammer. Now obviously he's gutted, he's spent over $5,000 on this account. But on the other hand, he doesn't seem too shy. He even gives a few reasons why. The account was first given to him as a gift, which Epic might see as a form of trading, which is a against the TNC. He also uploaded a few videos to do with custom skins, which involve messing with the flies, also against Fortnite's TNC. Now, Big Fault attempted to figure out why this was happening, but he didn't get any real productive response. Pretty soon after he set up a new account and started buying every skin again that would appear in the item shop, but guess what? It's just a prank, bro. After a month or two had passed, Big Folds received a reply on one of his Twitter posts for a link to a Reddit page. Here it showed that Fortnite were going on a mass unbanning spree, unbanning any falsely banned accounts. And sure enough, Big Folds wondered if this might apply to him too. Oh my god. I think I'm in. Oh my god. Dude, this is- Oh my god. I think I'm fucking in. I think I'm fucking in, bro. I'm sorry for the language. Oh my god. This is literally- Dude, no fuck- No way, bro. Dude, this is like a four or five thousand dollar. Oh my god. There's no way, bro. The purple skull trooper! No! I actually can't believe it, dude. Like, there's people sleeping in like- Oh my god, dude. I got banned from the supporter creator code from this. I didn't even do anything. That's what I was saying in my video. I didn't do anything. Oh my god. Yes. Yes! Yes! You guys have no idea, dude. I spent like hundreds on the other account, but I don't even care about that, dude. Look at all the skins I got. You can see the pure joy from Big Faults getting his account back, but you've got to remember he also started spending a ton of money on his new account, which is now wasted. Number four, Landon, 1 million V-Bucks account ban. Big Faults may have ended up getting his account back, but not everyone is so fortunate. In fact, for Landon, it was outright savage. As you guys can see by the title of this vid, I have, uh, I was just banned on Fortnite. I just was in the middle of a game. I was literally top four. I like told myself at the beginning of the game, I was like, yo, Landon, this is it. This is the big game. You're gonna win this one. I did super good. I made it like top, top four, which is pretty good for me. I had a rocket launcher, I shoot at the guy, I was gonna be top three, and uh, I get logged out, like literally in the middle of the game. I didn't really know what was going on. I thought it was just kind of like, I don't know, maybe someone had like gotten on my account or maybe there was some network error around Fortnite. But then I, uh, I log out of Fortnite and I try to log back into Epic Games. And again, I see this. So it says, account disabled. Just as season six had kicked off, Landon was playing out the new toys that come with every season. He's in the final four players going for the epic victory royale. And with an RPG, he suddenly gets booted from the game and logged out of his account. Imagine being in that game and seeing someone about to rocket launch you in the face and the almighty Fortnite gods come down and they just smack him with the ban hammer before he pulls the trigger. What a save. Not so much for Landon. When he's booted from the account, a pop-up appears clear as day, telling him that the account has been disabled. Anytime he tries to log back in, it'll just bring him straight back to that message. Now, this is definitely going to suck for Landon, considering he's done a video buying 1 million V-Bucks for that very same account. Even if he bought everything, every day he probably had a whole bunch of spare V-Bucks sitting there waiting to be spent, and now it's all gone. It's just down the drain. Now, in all fairness, he didn't exactly make it hard for Epic to make the decision. He was uploading viral videos that were all about hacking and messing around with the files, which is a big no-no for Fortnite and pretty much any game. You know what I'm talking about. 
Custom skins. We saw Spider-Man and a giant monsters, which was fairly entertaining. But when your influence is as big as Landon's, the gaming companies have to put their foot down quick on activity like unwanted mods and hacks. Number three is Tifu Ban. All of you have most likely heard of or know about the default skin army that Tifu accidentally created. No longer was a default skin representing a player that was new to the game, but with so many free skins with battle passes, you'd find most new players trying out some awesome skin they just got for free, and the most default skins you'd find running around were actually tryhard pros, or at least attempting to be anyway. I'd be lying if I said I haven't joined the default army every now and then. Either way though, the default skin is no longer someone you can trust. The only way you can really tell now is by observing their movement. This all started back in late June, early July of 2018 when Tifu's account got banned, consisting of so many OG skins like the Skull Trooper, and at the time there were a ton of misconceptions about why. Tifu is a player known for finding exploits within games, and to be fair, most of the time it's accidental. He just plays at such a fast pace that he constantly stumbles upon them. Before the ban, he was using a new wall-phasing exploit that some people thought was the cause, but that actually wasn't it. Um, one day I signed on to Fortnite, and uh, my account was inactive or deactivated or something, whatever. I couldn't, I couldn't get on. So I tried to get on my alt account. That was inactive as well, and I had no clue what was going on. Like I didn't know if it was like the game messing up or something. I, I checked my emails. Uh, I had nothing in my emails, so I was just like freaking out. I was like, I don't know what's going on. Like, like what, where are my accounts banned? Like, that's what I assumed. And then uh, Lumen messaged me on Twitter. He's like, we detected uh, buying an account sharing, and we decided to take action on your accounts, which was the only two accounts I had at the time. Um, face Tifu, face Tifu all. Because uh, buying and selling accounts is not okay. It is against TOS. It is completely my fault that my accounts are completely banned, gone. I'm never getting them back, which is fine. You know, it, it was my fuck. It was my fuck up, and I, I just want you guys to know that I did not get banned for exploiting. I did not get banned for fast farming or jumping through walls or, or team ki like team killing or whatever. Whatever you guys may think, like I got banned for breaching TOS is 100% my fault. I do not want you guys to bring any, any negativity to Epic Games or anything like that. A common theme that's nice to see with this list is how honest these people are being about the situation. They're losing a lot of money with these bans, and Tifu lost roughly $4,000 worth of goods on that account. Yet everyone has been like, yep, fair enough. That was my bad. The only thing they can do is start over. For Tifu though, it was a big loss to lose that much on one game. And after it all happened, he still had to play Fortnite. It's the biggest game right now. So when starting over, he couldn't bring himself to spend even more money on skins again. It's kind of understandable, but the whole whole default skin became insanely popular after this. Some would wear it to support Tifu, others just wanted to be like their favorite streamer, and for most players, it just became tactically useful to use, as most others weren't going to be suspecting or expecting you to actually be decent at the game if you were looking like a bot. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the story of how the default army came into existence. Be sure to cross your heart and hit the default dance. God bless. Number two, Brandon got his $3,000 account banned. Remember that old saying, we learn from our mistakes? Well, for most people, this really helps them, or for others, it just simply doesn't apply, and sometimes it seems they're doomed to repeat the same mistakes over and over again. For Brandon here, I just hope he doesn't fall into the second group. Now, before August, Brandon was using a fairly expensive account. He didn't have all the skins, but the ones he did have were highly valued. One amongst them is the rarest skin in the game, the Recon Expert. Unfortunately for Brandon, though, adding and holding on to this collection was no no longer an option. In early August, Brandon is locked out of his account and almost instantly he already knows why. Alrighty guys, so this email was basically the same um, for both accounts. So this one is just my Gold Trooper account that was banned. Um, as you can see, it says right here, hello again, your account has been disabled and will no longer function with any Epic Games product or services account due to account sharing every game is unable to reopen and i was like yo maybe i could get my fortnite account back so i said sir my parents are divorced that is why my ip changes it's not sharing as previously mentioned that your account has been blah 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 so basically what he's saying is i'm screwed all the money i've spent on the game is now gonzo because i was account sharing or you know letting people on my account and whatnot so um you know, that is a big rip. Do not buy and sell Fortnite accounts. As you can see, it is not worth it. This could happen to you. It's essentially the same exact reason Tifu got buying, selling, and account sharing. Well, one of those anyway, probably not all three. Fortnite seems to be really cracking down on this though. So beware that ban hammer if this happens to be something you've done yourself. Like Brandon, here are all those precious skins and cosmetics that you've collected, spent money on, and can suddenly disappear, never to be seen again. Fortnite skins are becoming a bit like old Pokemon cards. People willing to buy 
buy them for a ridiculous amount of money. For Brandon's account, those rare items, which also included the OG Skull Trooper, added a fair amount of value to it. I mean, how many of you watching have the OG Skull Trooper? Okay, maybe a few of you, but how many of you have the Recon Expert? Yeah, that's what I thought. But you can't just go ahead and trade or buy those accounts to get the skins. Fortnite don't allow that, which if anything is going to increase the skin's rarity. Let's just hope people are learning to not mess with Fortnite. I mean, I'm not risking losing my Black Knight just because my friend wants to borrow my account and play on it. In, and at number one, we've got the band account with so many rare skins. Of all the players on our list, Latency here is definitely one that saw this band coming. If anything, it hasn't seemed to bother him at all, but for someone like us, seeing the account he had that got banned is fairly brutal. The only real footage he has left of that account is this screenshot. But from just looking at this, you can see how much he must have had altogether. Tier 100 Battle Pass exclusive skins, and Omega, and Black Knight. He also had the Ghoul Trooper and Skull Trooper, plus nearly all the Christmas skins, which to be fair, we have seen some of them popping up again. But now for all the OG Merry Marauder owners, you've also got the new burning effect, except for Latency. His account got banned. He doesn't get to use the new Merry Marauder. All that worth was being wiped clean from the Epic servers. As most of you all know, I've done a quite a few videos on buying rare Fortnite accounts. Quite a few. And today, I think they finally caught up to me. And most of you guys know that buying Fortnite accounts is actually against the Epic Terms of Service. Like, you're literally not allowed to buy Fortnite accounts. If you're caught doing it, you're fucked. But, like, Epic has no time to catch every single person. There's literally no way. Like, so many people buy Fortnite accounts, it's not even funny. Well, recently, I got the Skull Trooper account from a friend, and we were planning on giving it away until this happened. Yup. Folks, I am banned from Fortnite. Every time I try to log in, it says this. Your account has been disabled. The accounts are disabled for one of the following reasons. The account owner requested that the account be disabled, fraud, and the account has been banned for misconduct. So this is pretty much the most common theme for expensive accounts at the moment. Getting banned for buying an account sharing. It's what some people are willing to do to get those rare skins, or in Latenza's case, content. But personally, I would just avoid it altogether. Even if you think it's fine, you never know when six months later, everything you've put into the game will get wiped because of something that happened months earlier. Now, Latency was posting videos about giving away accounts, buying accounts, and tons of stuff that completely broke Fortnite's TOS. It was more or less holding up a giant billboard saying, come at me, bro. Sure enough, it's not long before that ban. Days later, he's already posting videos about sharing accounts, so I'm fairly sure we might end up seeing him on another top five banned list in the future. That has been our list of the top five expensive Fortnite accounts that got banned. Be sure to click that like button if you haven't. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Push notifications on and keep it here on Top 5 Gaming.